Rainbow Mill. We play at church tonight. All right. I want to be obedient. Glory to God. I want to mind the Lord in all things. I don't want to walk in myself because to walk in myself is destruction. Amen. Glory to God. But I, I begin to I begin to stand there and I begin to just listen. And I begin to listen all around and I begin to listen and I begin to listen and uh, uh, these scriptures here, I, I've read them. Uh, uh, maybe before church, I was reading when Brother Milk came in. And, uh, we definitely miss everybody that's not here tonight. We got a lot that's out, and we do miss them. But oh my goodness, I thank God for everybody that is here. Uh, I was so glad to see uh, everybody show up. And, uh, I was so glad to see Brother Dow and his wife and his mother come Amen. back. And, uh, I thought how that uh, I know what it's like to travel all over and not be able to be free when you go places. And, and then I, I began to look around. I was so glad to see Barb, and uh, I was glad to see Linda come in. And uh, I look back and I see Tammy there, and uh, uh, mm, God help me today. If the Lord will just help me for just a little bit, Brother Robert, I won't keep you too long tonight. I'll try my best not to keep the people too awful long. Amen. Thank God. Brother Robert here, take his offer up. If anybody, think, if, if anybody has anything to give, it would be greatly appreciated. We thank God for everything that he's done for this little building and for the people in this building. But I begin to think about tonight, Brother Justin, I want to preach for a little while and tell somebody, Brother Troy, you ain't got to be afraid. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know. Amen. Thank God. Get on that out But I feel that I'm the old Smith to preach and tell somebody, don't you dare be afraid. All the day, fear has gone out in the land. There's fear of everything anymore. There's fear of everybody and everything. And man, thank God, God is not the author of confusion. Can we say amen? There's been doctrines of fear spread out in the land. I thought how I looked around during this election. I'm not political by no means. In the church house ain't no place for politics. But I looked around and watched people get afraid. People scared if this happened. People scared if that happened. I got news for you. You ain't got to be afraid. Come on, somebody help me just a minute. I've got there is no fear in Jesus. I don't know. I know that none of us knows what tomorrow holds. None of us knows what's going to happen tomorrow. But I've come to preach to somebody and tell you, you don't have to be afraid of tomorrow. I read a little saying one time. It said, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know who holds tomorrow. I look around bar and I see so many are getting afraid. Now the fear started with the coronavirus. Everybody afraid of it. I don't know how many of you here has had it or who ain't had it. And how many of those of you have done caught at once? Don't be afraid. If I had it, I'd get on and I'd tell you I got the coronavirus. There ain't nothing to be afraid of in no coronavirus. Oh, there ain't no coronavirus in Jesus. Come on, somebody. Sister Linda done said it tonight. Amen. By his stripes, amen, we were healed. Do you understand that every stripe, every beat, every time that whip caught him in the back? Amen. Sister Katie, that 
was for me and you. That was for our healing. Do you understand that that crown of thorns and man, brother God, that was placed on his head? I heard a preacher preaching. Amen. And he made a good point, Brother Troy. He said, you want to know why them thorns had to be placed on the head? Because a lot of our trouble starts in the mind. Hallelujah. A lot of our trouble starts in the mind. But I got news for you today. Because of what was done. Things have done so wonderful tonight. I do. I do feel like, oh God, God amen. Thank somebody has come tonight for help. Amen. amen. Thank God. Oh my Lord. I've asked people before. I asked you one time, what can they do to you? Throw you in the floor and eat you? Come on, somebody. I like to tell somebody, don't be afraid. Amen. I like what you were talking. Amen. You tell about your brother-in-law. Amen. Thank God. There ain't nothing too big for our God. Oh, glory to God. Amen. My mother, or she my granny, she raised me. I call her mommy. Amen. Stage four cancer. Uh, come on now. In December, they gave her three to six months to live. That's what they said. All right. We found out about it at the end of October. Amen. At that point, they gave her maybe a year and a half, two years. In December, they shrunk it to three to six months. That's what they said. It's in January. That's month one. It's gone. But I got news for you. There ain't no cancer in Jesus. There is no sickness in Jesus. She hugged. I'm not against going to a doctor, Linda. I believe God gave Dr. Sins. Come on, somebody. He gave them the sins that we won't use. Amen. But I thought she said, no, I don't want no chemo. I don't want to lay sickly. If that's all I've got left. Come on. She said, I'm going to go on. She said, because he's took care of me this far. So he'll take care of me all the way. Walking around afraid. Amen. I have. Right. Walked around afraid. We have. Can I preach to somebody? Go ahead. Instead of people are walking around afraid of ex-wives. They're afraid of ex-husbands. Come on, somebody with me. Divorce happens, it happens. Come on now, somebody. It happens. People walk around afraid of things from their past. Let me read a little scripture before I get ahead of myself. The book of First John. Amen. Fourth chapter. Amen. Thank God. Oh, glory. In the 17th verse said, Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because as he is so are we in this world understand this because as he is as he is as he is so are we in this world we are in this world but we are not of this world we have to be here, but we're not like this world. I got news for you today. Let me read a little bit longer. The 18th verse said, There is no fear in love. Read it again. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casts it out fear. Because fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Go I'll go tell you today. There is no fear in Jesus. You ain't got to be afraid of what they post about you on Facebook. You ain't got to be afraid of what they preach about you in the other church house. You don't have to be afraid of what the ex husband says. You ain't got to be afraid of what the ex wife says. There is no fear in Jesus. For years, Brother Mill might go along. Huh? Come on, come on. Brother Mill might go along. Tonight I'm feeling the preaching. 
Amen. 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 Thank God to preach them. Amen. I'll put it on YouTube so somebody else can hear the preaching now. Right. Amen. I believe there should be Amen. Some sanctity about our services. Hey, come on now. Some reverences about the things we do. Sure. Now, come on now, somebody. Oh, but for years. Amen. Thank God. Gosh, I would let you so much take a picture of me somewhere. Amen. I'll tell you why, Bar. It wasn't because I was ashamed to be seen with Milton. It wasn't because I was ashamed to be seen with Linda. It's because I knew that somebody would have something to say. I knew somebody will have something to say especially if they see me get a little free if they see me do a little shout they'll come on somebody I knew somebody had something to say but then I realized I was letting the past have dominion over me Tammy your past ain't got dominion over you honey the things of your past ain't got control over Yeah, I would go places. Tell me I'd go out of here. I'd go out of way from Southeastern Kentucky. Huh? Oh my goodness. Come on. Tell you what I had happened one time, I ain't ashamed to tell it. Went to a church one time to a homecoming. The only thing I done was son. That's all I did. I wanted to go be with that homecoming. i tell you something. Boy, we got the same. You know me. Yeah. I'm getting in. Right. My goodness, we got in. Well, they asked me to say something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I began to talk about who Jesus is to me. Yeah. I began to talk about how good he is to me. Right. Oh, my goodness. I said in, I started a preaching. Amen. I just stayed on the floor long. It's homecoming. Everybody wants to go eat. We got to use seats at homecoming. All right. <laughs> We're going to have one, Lord willing, this year, too. Oh, I had to cancel last year. Lord willing, I'll have one this year. Oh, I'm still here and I'm still able. We're going to have homecoming. Amen. I love homecoming. Huh? One of the best homecoming times ever in. The woman right there, she comes to the door, and that look, she got them symbols, and she starts saying, You in hell by the way, I'm on. And let me tell you something. I showed myself that day, and I said, Okay, I'm one of them too. Right. Amen. <laughs> but anyway, this man came up to me and said, Brother, key word right here. Brother, my Holy Ghost goes right with your yes. Where do you preach at all? I said, At that time, we didn't have this place here. That time, just went here and there, brother. I want you to come be with me. My hope, my Holy Ghost. Do you understand that? Yo, right up on yours, son. You called of God. I want you to come preach the first Sunday or the first something other of a service. I'm ready to take me today. For finally somebody instead of, instead of going by what they heard of you. Instead of going by what they heard about. Yeah. You hear all sorts of stuff. I'll tell you, hey, listen, I've heard stuff I've done that if I did it, I'd have definitely took credit for it. I've heard about stuff I was supposed to do. If I did it, I took credit for it. Huh? Tickled me today. Time to get me. Oh, I was going home and tell them, 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 tell yeah. I don't want to try hard enough for me. Yeah. All right. Oh, I was too good. She said, when, when we go, she said, we'll say it happened. Now, I knew speaking down that belief, woman. She was speaking down. If she was here, she was telling me facts. That's what she was doing. She was speaking down my belief. She was being real. Yeah. Yeah. I said, work one day. Boy, I've been on cloud nine, Brother Come on. So I'm getting to work a little bit. I'm getting to preach a little while. Oh, ring, okay. ring, ring, ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello, uh, brother Andrew. We need to talk. Uh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we know about your situation. Yeah. yeah thank you, Lord. I said, yeah. That happened, shorty. And do you still fool with those snakes? Oh, Proud to be a serpent. Yeah. 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 Proud to be one. I lay my life down. I come on now, somebody. I'm proud to be one. Sure am. These signs shall follow them that believe. I'm a believer. That sign follows me. Years ago, up in Edwards, Kentucky, Sister Bobby Short, some of you may know her. I was going to quit taking them up. 
Years and years ago, I was going to quit taking them up. Sure was. I was going to believe it. But they're all, I made it my mind. They ain't going to take me nothing up. I desired that. I desired that sign. But I didn't want that sign to exhort me. I wanted that sign to show the world there was power in Jesus. I sat on the bridge of the bench up there. I heard her. Woo! She threw him hands like that little bitty skinny woman. Little bitty. Here she comes. There was a big old brother standing in front of me. I thought she'd going to him. She passed him. She laid her hands on my head. Began to prophesy to me. I'll never forget that prophecy. This is how I desire in thy heart to do. Thou stay in my word. Stay in my will. Yea, not only as a sign, but I'll give it to thee as a gift. I thank God today that that sign has been a gift to me. I thank God that he lets me do that. It's as real as rain. I'm not telling you you ever have to hang on that snake to go to heaven, but I will tell you that these signs shall follow them that believe and they shall take up serpents. It's one of the five signs. Needless to say, when he asked me, did I still play with them old snakes? I said, yes, I still take up serpents when the Lord moves on me. Amen. He said, what about that far stuff? I said, absolutely. Amen. I said, the Lord gets on me, I'll put my head right in the middle of a cold stove. Amen. If he instructs me to. Yeah. Yeah. Or one time, I got the hell of coals. One time in my life, in a revival, the hell of cold stove. The Lord, let me do that. It's as real as I'm standing Amen. here before. Amen. Huh? Amen. Well, uh, I know what I said before. Yeah. But uh, I'm sorry, but we've had to, I've told, told some folk about you. And they know who you are, and I just can't have you come. Yeah. Hmm. I said, well, I'm not a fighter. Come on. I ain't going to fight you. I ain't got no time to fight you. That's right. You believe this is pink? I say it's Well, you got on pink too. We both got on green. You say that's green, I might say it's teal. Guess what? You got as much right to say that's green as I got as much right to say it's teal. Amen. I ain't going to fight with nobody. No. But I had to ask one question. I had to ask one question. Your Holy Ghost showed up to me. What well, happened? Let me tell you what happened. Fear said him. You know why fear said him? Because everybody's worried about what somebody's got to say. Everybody's worried about what Bill Frank and Sally says. I've got news for you today. We are not worried but about one who can destroy both the body and the soul and cast it into hell.
stop being afraid. You want to know the ultimate thing God's people is afraid of? Say that. Come on. Come on. You got a mirror? Huh? That's what they're afraid of. Come on. They're afraid of their self. Come on, man. How many times have you went to church? Huh? Come on. Heard a good, good lead get going. I heard somebody hit them symbols and you want to shout. Huh? Something inside of you saying shout. Something inside of you saying dance. Something inside of you saying give me the praise. Something inside of you give me the glory. Something inside of you saying give me the honor. But then all of a sudden about the time you go to praise, yourself says you can't. And you love them. And you sit down. Yeah. I've heard an ignorant statement. People in their ignorant, they holler, you can't shout over sin. I've got news for you today. This right here, what do you think this is? What do you think this flesh is? This carnal mind cannot be subject to the law of God. Neither indeed can it be. If a man say he has no sin, he is a liar. If a truth is not in him. But I've got news for you today. He that is born of God, he doth not see her. What's that mean? That means that this right here is dead. This has died. But that that's inside of you is alive. Hey! We're afraid of our own self. We bound our own self. It's time, Tammy, that God's people jerk the locks off your arms. It's time that God's people kicks the stocks off your feet. It's time, Sandy, God's people run back. Squire off your shoulder. Say, I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm a Holy Ghost filled. And I'm part of time. It's time that we look at the lost world and instead of saying, oh, it's a tight way. It's time that we look at them and say, this way, hey, this way is a good way. This way is a happy way. This way is peace and love and joy. What did Isaiah say? He said there'd be a highway there and it should be called the way of holiness. Amen. And the unclean, oh, what was you and I? What were we then? We were unclean. We were unjust. We couldn't pass over. But because of the man named Jesus, I said, Holiness is Jesus. And Jesus is holiness. That's where healing is. That's where salvation is. That's where deliverance from the drug addict is. It's in Jesus.
Huh? Don't you get me wrong? People can be cruel. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Absolutely. Words stained. Words hurt. Sure they do. Yeah, right. Huh? Yeah, right. Tell me you and Bill. You can remember. I'll tell you right now. If Taylor was here, she'd tell you me her eyes. Huh? I'm afraid to tell Huh? Come on now, you marry people. I like looking at Troy and Sandy. You and her ever fell out? Don't see how that? Huh? You never have a bad day. Talk to me here, church. <laughs> Our worst thing is we are afraid of our sin. Huh? There is no fear in Jesus. Everybody quote that. They say perfect love casts out all fear. That's not what it said. It said perfect love casts it out fear. Take that home with you now and learn that. Don't misquote that no more. Perfect love cast it out fear. How many of you here has ever, since you started your walk with God, have you ever been afraid of something? Yeah. Yes. Oh, you want to know what caused it? You were leaning to the arm of flesh. You want to know what? And I said, I'm going to preach on that. Not. You hear people say, I've done everything I know to do. Yeah. Wendy, how many times? I, I've done all I know to do. That is your biggest mistake right there. You have done it all. You. If you'd have just got yourself out of the way. Huh? If you'd have just got yourself out of the way. But you want to know why we don't get ourselves out of the way? Because we get afraid. What are we afraid of? We're afraid of walking by faith and not by sight. Huh? Wait, listen. I, 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 that old guitar right there, I seen it and had it worked on. It's a 1975 Martin D35. I'm church that guitar. My mother bought me that guitar. And I'm not only did she buy me that guitar, that the, the family come from, that was Tom Coots' guitar. That was Jamie Coots' grandpa's guitar. That guitar is very sentimental to me. Yes. That guitar has seen the old sons, the old people, the people who was dead and gone. That guitar has seen revivals. That guitar has seen serpents handled. That guitar has seen miracles, signs, healings. That guitar is very precious to me. It had a crack up the neck of it because I had it in a baptizer and my young and bumped into it and it fell and put a split right up the back of the neck. Never hurt the guitar. But it had a big crack in the neck. Come to find out if you after I took the hand that guitar worked on, the man said if you'd have ever took the strings off of it, it'd have fell apart. The whole neck busted. When I sent that to that man, he is a professional Luther. A professional Luther, he that's his profession, is working on instruments. He knew what he was doing. Father, if you stay with me, I promise I'll us. I'll sit there and get out of the way. That man took one look at this guitar. Knew exactly what year it was made in by the three piece on the back. Looked right inside there at the sound hole, inside there at the serial number, could tell me its birthday. Huh? See that? See that right there? That's not a crack no more. I wouldn't let him sand it down. I wouldn't let him take the finish because you see that war spot? That's old brother Tom's hand, doesn't it? Um, you see it? You see that wore out spot from here to there? That was old man Brother Tom's hand. Going right. from revival to revival. Hitting that old Jeep. Oh, huh? oh, yeah. That's his hand. So I wouldn't let him do that. But see that right there? You see that? That was a huge crack that went from that side to this side. Oh, and had the strings. I, see, I, I would always change the strings one at a time. Always. If I'd have ever took every string off of it at one time, this whole neck would have been destroyed. It would have had a new neck. But that man knew what he was doing. Come on. All right. But while this guitar was in Berea, Kentucky, getting worked on, 
I was biting my fingernails. I didn't know this man. There you go. Huh? I didn't know him. Not personally. I met him through a for through a feather play bluegrass music. I met him. I met him. I didn't know him. The whole time that was up there. In Berea. What am I going to do if that nut takes off when I get to part? Huh? What am I going to do if I pull my chin and make a drop with it? He's packed up left and took my guitar to the Bahamas somewhere. Huh? That guitar's worth a little bit of money, not a whole lot. It's a 1975 Martin D35. It's a real guitar. I could sell it around now and then at $2,500. Poof, gone. If I drop it down to $2,000, it'd sell it not. My granny didn't give that for it. Oh, I didn't have much right there. I got the family price when I got it. But the whole time after that man was working on my guitar, I was afraid. I was afraid. What if this man is a nut job? He don't know a thing about guitars. I seen his workshop, but listen, some of y'all got tools, don't know you know how to use your tools. I got a chainsaw in my basement. I ain't got an idea how to run a chainsaw. I couldn't chop my leg off with a chainsaw if I had it started right now. Come on now. Some of y'all got tools, don't know how to use them. So what if this fella would have took my guitar and destroyed it? First of all, my mother bought me that guitar. Huh? And second of all, that guitar come from four generations of a family that I love dearly and considered like my own. That guitar very sentimental to me. You couldn't touch it with money. Not to me. If I was living in a cardboard box, I'd be playing a mark. Huh? But then I got a phone call. Hey, brother, your guitar's ready. I went up there. There she was. New fretboard, new frets put in it because the frets was wore down over 30 years of play. There, that big crack that would have destroyed that guitar, sealed it. As long as that guitar should never need another fretboard, fretwork on it as long as I've got it, I'm alive. He took that big pit guard off, cleaned it, and put it right back on there just as pretty as it is now. But understand the whole time I was afraid. That's how we are with God. But after I seen what that man did, guess what? I took him. That Gibson that got gave to me. 1964, it's over now. J45. I took it up there and I didn't worry the first time. Amen. How many times are we going to have to see God deliver us? Or you, or do you get the pattern? You know, what I'm How many times are we going to have to watch God move for us, deliver us, heal us, touch us, bring us up, for us to stop being afraid and us to start saying, hey, you take care of it because I don't know what I would do. You take care of it because I ain't got the mercy and you know what to do. But I know when I get it back, it's at the same time we all are. That my friend, the gospel says the just shall live by faith. That's what that is saying to you. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's time to stop being afraid. Across to all of us. Amen. I've done it. 
You know what my worst thing was? I'd get my phone. Send you a text. I, I'm not trying to aggravate you about that guitar, but how's it come on? Yeah. He didn't text you back all the time. Now, this, this guy, like I told you, professional Luther, worked in Hawaii, worked for the Martin Guitar Factory. The man's credentials were solid. He's, I, I, he's built instruments, built them from the ground up. Look just like something you'd see hanging on the wall of music. But here I am with my mind. Yeah. See, we go to God with our problem. Yes. Huh? We go to God with our issue. Mm -hmm. Huh? All right. Go ahead. We go to God with our sickness. Mm -hmm. With our children. Amen. With our marriage. Yes. We go to God with our issues. Mm -hmm. huh? We go to God with our rejection. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Go ahead. go ahead. And we get down on our knees. And we cry out to him. And we say, God, we are believing in you. Yes. yes. Thank you, Lord. But. Yeah. But. Let me just do one thing. Yeah. I know you'll move to this. Yeah. I've done it, Bill. Right. Huh? We've all done it, Linda. Oh, yeah. sure. We've took matters in their own hands. Yeah. Huh? Come on. Have you not put matters in your own hands? Right. We say, we say, God, please. You're going to be God, doesn't it? Well, He is. We're made in His image. Ain't that good? Huh? He made us in His image. Huh? I want you to unzip that Bible case. Well, here, let me go. Let me. Let me do it this much first. Please, please. Well, God, if you would just unzip it. God, please unzip this Bible case. Please. But wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't think I can handle it. Come on. If we would start when we, when we had a problem, when we had an issue, if we'd say, you've done been there. When Christ went up the hill, yeah. every strike, yeah. wow. yeah. every time. Do you not think he felt sorrow, oh, yeah. depression, anxiety? Oh, yeah. I love what Brother Scotty said here the other night about Christ in the garden, sweating great drops of blood, full blown anxiety attack right there. Could you imagine being the man, Christ, not the deity, but the man? What did he pray in the garden? Father, if it be thy will, let this cup pass from me. But nevertheless, not my will, but thy will. Be now. I want to slow that thing. Give me an outer cup. Give me an outer cup, brother Bill. Sister Bob, you got one? Give me an outer cup. Somebody, give me an outer cup, son. I want to tell you. If you would just leave it in his hands. Yes. Do you listen? If your if your mommy and daddy was right here, you trusted him in you. I everything in you. If your daddy would have come over with a wad full of copperheads and laid them on your head, you trusted your daddy, didn't you? Huh? All right. Yes. When your little mommy grabbed that little blouse, that little thing. The sun was starting. She starts staggering. If she, if she starts saying, and she can't come over and tell you that things are all right. You trusted your mom. Huh? Come on, Miss Somebody. All right. Yes. Hallelujah. You remember Milton's mommy? I remember Milton's mommy. Had Alzheimer's in the flesh, but would prophesy to him and hit it on the head. You know why? Because that that was inside of her didn't have all the time. I believe that. Amen. That's why I felt different. It's still tear up, tear up at me. The last time I was over, I teared up. I said, if I got to get in, big tears roll up. He said, but that nerves, I don't remember which one it was. He said, open that door and let him hang up to me. <laughs> and hang you know why? Because that that's inside don't have Alzheimer's. It don't have dementia. Amen. Huh? 
That that's inside ain't afraid. <laughs> that that's inside is not afraid. This gets afraid. This gets afraid. Because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix it. I can't fix it. I don't know what I've done wrong. What have I done wrong to deserve this? Have you been there, Brother Darrell? What have I done wrong? I, I, we, we go down the list. I've lived dry. Right. I've done right. I, I don't care what you've done, how good you live. I don't care. That's not the point. Sickness will still come on this. Depression will still come on this. But not on that either. Six months. Jesus was a baby. Huh? Jesus was a baby. Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary. So don't you think that if you've been worried, if you ever been worried when you prayed, it, you ever get scared? Huh? Naturally. Huh? You mamas that's been in here, you ever get worried when you pray? Huh? Get scared? Huh? Get afraid, get a little worried. I, I'm the world's worst to do this little number right here. To be all right. Oh God, what are we going to do? Uh, it'll be all right though. Won't you tell me? Everything's just fine. Oh God, I'm going to pieces. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm the world's worst. In front of somebody, this place to be able to be on fire and say, I take a little water, put it down. Yeah. But you let me get by myself, oh, yeah, I'm all the pieces. Right. But that's when my father. Yeah. That's when my father. been there. There is not nothing new under the sun. Not nothing new under the sun. I was hated. I was talked about. I was persecuted. My Lord, could you imagine Jesus would walk my face with his mouth? Snapshot of him. Click. Put on it. Seen him with a prostitute. Hashtag says he's holy. I remember Mary Magdalene worship his feet. My goodness, if a woman was to come worship man's feet in a homeless movement church or a Pentecostal movement church, why well, they'd out the door. Huh? You know what? I preached a message one time. If all that's on your mind is something dirty, then it ain't the people around you that's being dirty. It's your mind that's being dirty. Is there a right way or wrong way? Sure there is. Sure there is. Holy Ghost gentlemen. But I could shout with every sister in this building, my wife here or not. My wife could shout with every brother in this building, me here or not. Huh? But that's a message for another night. But I'm trying to tell people, give it all to him. Do you remember, though, I'm going to say this and then I'll let you sing. And I want everybody, to, everybody will stand all over the house. Everybody will stand. Do you remember those little um, car tags in the 90s? God is my co-pilot. Yes. That was one of the biggest lies that was ever made. That's right. That's right. Because that's what's wrong with our people. Amen. Too long God has been our co-pilot and when we get in trouble, Amen. after we've done destroyed it, after we're afraid, after we're scared, after it's all torments broke loose, then we say God help us. Yeah. Instead of just from the moment we come out of this hall right. till this day. You're my pilot. Right. My father owns the cattle. So why in the world am I going to the pawn shop? Huh? Your father owns the cattle of a thousand hill. Why do you have to go to the pawn shop? I want to tell somebody tonight. I don't know what you're going through. Ain't nobody called and told me nothing. I was reading through my Bible before church. Those scriptures come out at me. I want to tell somebody tonight. 
Don't be afraid, Lord. Don't be afraid. There's a little saying, and it don't mean easy come, easy go, but it is what it is. We're going to have to learn that. His will is His will. Oh, come on, now, son. I see people scared to death at the end. Thank God if the, if the end comes tomorrow. Ha hallelujah. Amen. We're going home. Amen. Are we so?